Let's find the mass of one molecule of CO2. This is carbon dioxide. And really, all we need to do is find the molar mass for carbon dioxide here, and then we divide it by Avogadro's number. That'll give us the mass of one molecule of CO2. Let's do that. So to find the molar mass, we're going to add up the individual atomic masses of each atom. So carbon is 12.01. We have one of those. Oxygen, 16.00. We have two of those. We add those numbers up. So the molar mass for CO2, that's 44.01, and that's grams in one mole of CO2. Now we're going to use a conversion factor to find out the mass of one molecule of carbon dioxide. So we multiply this by our conversion factor. We know that one mole of any substance is made up of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Particles are atoms or molecules or ions. So now when we do the math, we have moles on the top and the bottom. They're going to cancel out. And that's going to give us the mass of one molecule of CO2. Really, again, all we're doing, we're taking the molar mass for CO2 and dividing by Avogadro's number. The thing is, here we're left with the units of grams. So we know we did this right. 44.01 divided by Avogadro's number. That gives us 7.31 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And the units, those are going to be grams. If you wanted to know the mass of one molecule of CO2 in kilograms, you just divide this by 1,000. You get 7.31 times 10 to the negative 26. This is a really small number, but that makes sense. One molecule of CO2 shouldn't weigh very much. This is Dr. B with the mass of one molecule of CO2, carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching.